Okay, now for the irregular shape on the right, calculate the length of A. So guys, what you're simply going to do here, look at A. It's a vertical line, right? That's the first thing you notice. It's a vertical line. And here we have, where are all the vertical lines? We have one here, and we have one here as well. These lines are all parallel. So in order for you to find A, you need to do is to take the larger length and subtract this one. So to find A, A is equal to 20 centimeters minus 11 centimeters, which is equal to nine centimeters. Easy as that. Now, why is this the case? Why is it you know, as simple as that? Because the entire length here is 20. So if you look at this here, if it should extend this down like this, then this length here is obviously from here to here, right? Forms a rectangle. And so if this is 11, 11, then this length here is also 11. Now, now 11 centimeters plus A will have the same length as 20. Why is that? Because here we have a rectangle again, right? This part is a rectangle. And if this is 20, then this is this entire length here is 20. Now, if this is 11, then how would you find the remaining portion such that that portion plus 11 gives us 20? We just simply take 11 from 20 to find the remaining amount. So A is really equal to 20 minus 11. So rather than having to um, pull this length here of 11 right here, we just simply take from 20 this length to get the remaining portion here. Okay. Now, if we want to find the other length, which is B, right, which is this length here, we do the same thing with our horizontal length now. So this length here and this length and this length are all parallel, right? We do the same thing. If you want to find the B, you're simply going to do what? Take, you're going to take the, the longest length, which is 15, which is the entire length for this side, and subtract this portion here, which is what we have right here of six centimeters. Okay, so we take the larger length, and that's parallel to B, and take the other short length that's parallel to B subtract them, that's it. And you're gonna get nine centimeters, as easy as that. Now, why does this work? Um, this works because um, this entire length here, going from right here to, to, to here, is, tw is 15 centimeters, okay? All right, so this length here, plus this length is 15 centimeters. How we know that? Because down here is 15, it forms a rectangle, so this opposite length must be 15. Now, if this is 6 centimeters, how do we know that? This is 6, because this is this forms a rectangle. And if this is 6, then this is 6. And B must be an amount such that when you add 6 to B, you get the entire length, which is 15. Right? It's 15, so this is 15. So B is equal, B plus 6 equals 15. So if you want to do this differently, like an equation, you could say, okay, B plus six centimeters added together together B plus six added together to give you fifteen centimeters. So if you want to find B, it's going to be equal to fifteen centimeters minus six centimeters. So B is equal to nine centimeters. That's up to you if you want to do it that way. Now, how do we find the parameter of the shape? The parameter means the distance all around the shape. Now we found A, which was. Um, nine let's let me just double check that yeah so this is a is actually 20 minus 11 that's nine this is nine centimeters b is 15 minus six which is um also nine centimeters all right so that's interesting right they don't have to be the same um but in this case they are the same okay so what do we do next to find the the parameter we're going to add up the distance all the way around you can use p for parameter to be 20 plus 6 plus, so we're going to go from, from this point to this point, that's 20. From this point to this point, that's 6. That point to this point, that's 9 plus, right? Go to this point, that's another 9 distance, 9 centimeters covered. Go to this point, that's 11 centimeters covered. And then we go from this point to this point where we started from. Um, you have to make sure you go where you started from, right? So we're going to add all of those. So look at, count the sides. This is one, 
two, three, four, five, six. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. So easy to miss out the figure, right? 20 plus 6, that's 26. Plus 9, that's 35. Plus 9, that's 44. Plus 11, that's 55. Plus 15, that's 70 centimeters. Okay, and that's the final question. All right, so another question will be good to ask is to find the area, but that's not because that won't be part of the exam. But if I were to cut this like this, we could find the area. We can call this section A and call this bigger section rectangle B. So if you want to find the area, to find the area of rectangle A, right, is equal to the area of the L shaped polygon. All right, so area of A will be, let's look at it. Well, this is a rectangle, right? So we have one side. Um, let's look, at, let's remodel A. So this side is nine. What's this side down here? If this side here is nine. Okay, so this side down here must will be six, right? Because this is six, so this is six as well. That's a six centimeters. So the area here is six by nine. Um, so area of A. is six times nine, which is 54 centimeters squared. The area of B, let's find the area of B. Let's remodel that the rectangle. This is 15, all right, this is 15 centimeters. And this distance going up here, because remember we're stopping right here, right? So from here to there is just 15 centimeters. Oh, well not 15, sorry, but 11, yeah. I was surprised I wanted, that's not a square. So it's going to be 15 by 11 and 1 plus 5 is 6. So that's 165 centimeters squared. Multiply by 11, just add the two digits and put the answer in the middle. That's a little trick, right? And then we're going to find the total surface. No, yeah, well, we can say the total area of the polygon, um, the L-shaped polygon there is going to be 54 plus 165. be 9 and that's going to be 11 219 centimeters squared area plus area gives you more area the only way we get cube is when you multiply one dimension by another okay so and that's the solution hopefully that was helpful but remember we're just going to look at parameter we're not gonna, i'm not gonna you're not gonna be asked to find the area but just in case you know it's always good to come back to this video to figure out how you do this in terms of finding the area all the best